Oh, hi there. Today's video on part two of the greenhouse, we're just going to go over and we're going to show you plastic sheathing over it. Stay tuned. And we want to make sure we got a good, fresh, sharp blade in our razor knife. Come and pull it up. Come on. I guess we cut that just about close. So maybe you get on this side and I'll get inside and I'll work up top. We'll try unfolding this side first okay. and then work our way on the bottom side right now. Or do you want to pass it? Well, we'll open up both ends and we'll have to. I'm just going to open up the hole all the way. Yep. So once you got all the plastic on, you pull it around. Just want to make sure both sides are even on the bottom. The ends are where you want them. The ends are pretty even. Bottom ends. That's good. We got enough left over on the edges. And then same on the front. Yep. 
Good. So then you want to pull the front side tight and screw strap it on either side to hold it in place. Once we get to the corners here, put a board back behind here. So that way when I cut the greenhouse plastic so I can roll up the flaps, I can have extra space. I'll show you to butt it over in the winter time so there's no drafts coming in on the chickens. Like I said, the reason for this extra flap is, you know, we can roll this up. I'll show you how we do that after. When we roll that up, you know, you can get a breeze coming in here. But now, come in the winter time, if you want to close that up nice, you can put another board right there. And the birds won't be getting a draft from the corners, at least. Keep pulling as tight as you can in the center. This one up one more time like this. Put this one on top of it. Make sure your ends are flushed. Now you can see the roll-up sides, how they work. And you can do the same thing with the back. Zip it up halfway, fold it in, and you can get a good airflow going on. Thanks guys for watching. That was part two of the DIY greenhouse slash winter chicken coop slash compost building. Whatever you want to call it, it's a multifunctional building we're going to be using here. So stay tuned for part three. That should be the last of the structure, and then we'll be doing a pot four and how we're setting up the inside for the chickens. So we'll see you back here next time at Lumna Acres. Bye.